Hey guys, Leader Pros here. I'm just wanting to show you how to edit a photo in Lightroom just using the standard sort of editing tools. So how do you get the best results out of Lightroom? Well, let me show you. On the right hand side, you've got your editing panel. Uh, it's best to work your way from the top to the bottom. What you do is, first of all, we'll just zoom in and make sure, yes, it's nice and sharp. You can even see the reflection in her eye. So first of all, we're going to make sure the white balance is set correctly. So I'm just going to set it to daylight and you can see it's sort of warmed everything up. It was actually shot in the shade, but as you can see, when you go to shade, it's just too warm. So you can be, go to auto, or you can go to daylight. I quite like daylight, and I'll just drop that down a little bit in my temperature, just to get it quite right. Okay, now with your exposure, there's a couple of things. I think the face is well lit, um, however it is a little bit bright here, so you can adjust your exposure down a tad, just to bring back that detail. Okay. This highlight area here, I actually want to address that a little bit later because it looks a little bit washed out in the highlights. You can add a little bit of black into the image, which adds some nice contrast. But um, yeah, I'm not really going to touch that because it's quite well exposed. Clarity. So what clarity does, it will actually just add some definition into the image. But adding too much clarity will actually affect your skin tone. So it's best to, what I find, just go maybe a little bit, but not too much. Like all your sliders, just adjust them ever so slightly. Saturation, you can bring your saturation up or down, um, depending on what you want. I'm probably actually just going to go um, neutral on this, so I'm not going to adjust it too much. Now, what else can you do? You can make sure you're sharpening a little bit, you just grab this click on that and click over the area that you want to see sharpened or you want a preview so we're going to use that there make sure the eyelashes are nice and sharp but not too sharp you can see here it's just sharpened up a bit you can mask that off a little bit so you don't notice it so much and now I'm going to go into the darkest area of the image which is the hair there's not a lot of noise on this image and that's a good thing you can actually reduce that noise if you want but rather than going all the way up which creates a muddy image you can see here there's no definition again Lightroom's all about your sliders you just want to go a little bit but in this in, in this case I'm not actually going to adjust it because there's no noise in the image love the XA1 for that reason okay coming down we've got our lens corrections there's no distortion in the image so that's okay um, so now that I've got everything sort of set I can work off these bars at the top here First of all, I'm going to address this highlight area. And the way to do that, I'm actually going to use my graduated filter. Okay, all you need to do is click and drag, and it creates two areas. One area which is going to be mainly affected, and the other area which isn't, as it, as it gradually goes down. You can adjust, if you move your mouse in the middle, you can adjust using your arrows, the actual um, angle of this. Um, but the way you see it, is by adjusting your exposure. Okay, you can see here if I go all the way down, it's dark at the top here and it gradually goes back to normal from from left to right. So I'm just going to double click on exposure and bring it back down to to zero. And I'm just going to bring it down just a tad. Okay. And then I'm going to adjust it because at the moment it's hitting a hair. So I'm just going to adjust it like that and then I'm going to click on the black dot and I can move the whole slider across you can see here it's really affecting some of the image so now that I'm happy with that you can either go clothes or you can actually go new and what new does it actually creates another one so I'm just going to darken darken off this side just a wee bit okay just for the fun of the exercise that you can actually see it and now I'm just going to go clothes. Okay, so now I've got a graduated section complete. I'm going to go and crop my image now. You've got a padlock here. Unlocking the padlock means that you can go in any direction. You can make it really long and thin if you want, but keeping the padlock on keeps the aspect ratio exactly how you want it. So at the moment I've got it set to original, but you can actually click on the, the word original and it will bring up these options. You can enter a custom setting, so I've done that on a couple of settings. 
um, like a 3x1 or, or 16x9 for your landscape photography but in this case I'm going to keep it as original and then I'm just going to move it in a little bit okay just to cut out any wanted unwanted area and then I'm just going to recompose my image and once I'm I'm done I can just press enter on my keyboard and now that's got the selection which is perfect all right now to address any sort of skin so we can then go into our healing brush which is this one similar to what you've got in Photoshop you can either heal or you can clone but in this case I'm just going to heal and you can see when I highlight over the size area you've got the the crosshair there that makes it bigger or smaller so you can see how big or small you want to go now I do like to feather a little bit um, so it's going to hide any sort of effect and now I'm just going to paint over and using the healing brush any areas that may be affected um, you can see there it's it's cleaned up from the original you've got it's actually got this bit of skin and replaced it over this bit okay you can then actually drag that to a good piece of skin and it's automatically going to um, cover up that that wrinkle that you can see there so you can just click off that and you can see I'm just going to go back into that tool that one you can then click on it and if you're not happy with it you can just press delete on your keyboard and it gets rid of it like so okay but I look quite like it so I'm just going to go uh, command Z and it's just going to repeat that alright so now I'm going to use the spacebar and click on any other areas that I may want to get rid of I can just do a single click there you know to get rid of any any blemishes you know really really simple okay another thing just to show you is I've clicked on this area but it's a little bit too small so if you just run your mouse over the edge you can actually expand that you can see the the brush getting a little bit bigger on the other side um, which makes it really easy for editing I tend to do this sort of stuff in Photoshop but you cannot do it in Lightroom the bracket keys will also make it bigger and smaller as in the, the size of the brush so now I've done that I've done all my retouching I can then if I want I can actually go into the eyes um, and just lighten up this shadow area a little bit and the way to do that is using a selective, selective brush so you click on this one but I'm then going to make my brush bigger or smaller depending on the size feather is going to be at 100 so it's not going to be noticeable and I'm just going to change my flow down a little bit and also I'm just going to add my density down a little bit and now I'll just make it a bit bigger you can see where I'm painting okay if I hover my mouse over this area it will show you the area that you've just painted okay you can see there and now I'll just go to the extreme so you can see what I've just painted because I've used quite a low um, density and low flow it hasn't gone on to the actual image quite thick so we'll just paint this area as well just to really uh, lift the eye out of the picture without being too noticeable okay so we're just going to pump that up a little bit alright that's better that's looking much better now there's another thing you can actually do with this you can actually click on here and you can actually scroll down to a couple of different things so for instance we're going to soften the skin alright let's just bring that back up to there so you can see the effect so you can see there it's just touching those wrinkles and smoothing them out a little bit so it's just bringing the clarity down that's all it's doing in order to see where you painted just highlight over the area and you can see that we've pretty much touched everywhere on her face there's just one area here that needs to be fixed do this area in here so you can adjust your clarity up 
just to get it to where you want with the skin softening so let's just say about there okay um, that doesn't look too bad now we're going to go the extra step we're just going to create a new brush and we're actually going to go into teeth whitening all right so now we can zoom in all right and I'm just going to paint over the teeth like so and it's instant white but it, what it actually looks quite bad being too white because no one has perfectly white teeth all the movies you see them retouch the teeth as well and there's lots of other things you, that will affect it so what they've done is just you that preset has brought down the saturation okay so we're actually just going to bring it back up a little bit just to bring a hint of color but just not as much you can see the before and after it doesn't look like we've actually taken off too much um, we can maybe just go down a touch that's not too bad and we'll just bring the exposure down a little bit okay probably about that we're just going to go up to the eyes and we're going to create a new brush we're going to go into iris enhance again all I do is I just make my brush quite small I'm just going to create a circle around the pupil right, to really lift the eye out so it's got that glassy look all right we're just going to bring the clarity down a little bit and the saturation down a little bit and the before and after you can see it's really lifted out those eyes which is fantastic we've got the wider teeth we've got the soft skin we've got the eyes as well but what I'm wanting to do is sort of it it's a little bit too soft so I'm just going to go back into um, my brush tool I'm going to select the eyes first of all and I'm actually just going to bring the exposure down a little bit because they're a little bit too bright secondly I'm going to click on this brush that we had here with the face and I'm just going to bring the clarity up a little bit because I think the skin was just too soft we don't obviously want it like that uh, we just want it a little bit softer than normal alright so that's our image and also I'm going to now that I've clicked close I'm actually going to adjust my white balance I'm just going to make it a little bit cooler again so it's not so yellow um, and we'll look at the before and after so that, that's looking quite good I'm, I'm getting happy with that the thing that I'm going to do is just go down into my vignette okay so I'm just going to adjust uh, add a little bit of a vignette on here just to darken up the the top and the bottom of the image just to really draw your eye into the actual person um, let's look at the before and after much better so that's that's how you edit a photo in Lightroom it's really really simple just using the develop module um, and the sliders working away from the top to the bottom and then actually using these tools at the top so I hope you learned something and we'll see you next time cheers